Hey there, I'm Ian Douglas. I'm the author of the website, techinterview.guide. I'm here to help people with career advancement and interview preparation. My live stream on Twitch covers topics such as company research, how to build resumes and cover letters, applying for the job, getting through interviews, and what to do during negotiations. I've coached thousands and thousands of people over the years to get jobs at the biggest tech companies in the industry, and I'm here to help you too. The following episode is taken from a longer live stream event and may contain interactions with other people in chat. Check out the end of the episode for more information. Let's get to it. Got another question in chat. How do you feel about personal projects as potential as an potential employer, like the most complex, cool thing one can think of versus a chill one or two week project done to keep oneself busy? What are your thoughts on either? Good question. My general advice is your projects, like if you're, if you're going to be looking for a new job, your projects have to attract the company. And so you want to do your company research on what kinds of companies do I want to apply for a job? What kinds of projects are they going to care about? Because that's the first thing that they're going to notice. Not so much that it's complex and cool, not so much that it was just something that you found interesting. Although some companies do want to know, like, what are you genuinely interested in? Because that kind of shows them the trajectory of where you want to take your career. But the primary draw that they're going to have is if you build a project that's a lot like going in the same direction that they are. So if they're an energy conservation company or, or like part of their goal is energy conservation, go build a project about that. And then when you apply, say, hey, I saw that your company's into this. I built a project because I'm headed in the same direction as you. So we might as well work together because we're both going in the same direction. You're not going to use those exact words, but that's kind of the theme of how you're going to introduce yourself to them. And that kind of question is going to stand out to them much, much more than just, hey, I built a to-do list app or I built this app, you know, where me and my friends can go like figure out what we want to eat for lunch on Sunday. Like those are good projects too. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to slam those. I've just seen hundreds of them <laughs> over my career. Um, it's been done to death. Um, and so you have to try to think of something novel. You have to try to think of something. It doesn't have to be like perfectly unique, but it's got to stand out to them. And so what's going to stand out to them is what they care about. So if there's a technology that they use, go build a project with that technology. If they have a technology for other people to use, like a software kit or an API or a library or a tool or something along those lines, go build a project with that because then that completely changes your introduction to them instead of just, Hi, I'm Ian, and I've got these generic skills. Your hi, I'm Ian. I'm a user of your software, and I love this software so much, I want to come be a part of the team. Totally changes that introduction. When I worked at SendGrid, which is now owned by uh, Twilio, we hired dozens of people, engineers and salespeople, who worked at companies who used SendGrid as a product. I was one of them. I worked at another company where we needed an email provider. I used SendGrid, and I'm like, the software is amazing. I applied for a job there. I got the job. And then I continued to interview other people who also worked at companies where they also used SendGrid as a product. And those introductions were kind of always the same. It's like, I've gotten to interact with your support team. They're amazing. I want to be part of this. Or I'm an engineer. I got to implement your software. It's amazing. I want to be a part of this. It's a completely different introduction than, hi, I'm Ian, I happen to know Python, I happen to know JavaScript, and those are the skills that you want. It's a completely different story. And that's that's another primary way that you're going to catch their attention like that, and you're going to like really stand out to them as a candidate. So if you can find out during your company research, what do they care about? What causes do they care about? Go build a project about that. What technology do they use? Go integrate some of that into your project. Um, have they blogged about, hey, in a year, we're going to be transitioning to this other technology. Go start learning that now. Build that into your project or build, you know, uh, even copy an old project into that new technology stack so you can show them that you're able to learn something on the fly. All of those kinds of things are going to really stand out to a company. And so those would be the kinds of projects I would primarily focus on and then if you've got time, go find a passion project. Passion projects also stand out, but they won't stand out as much as what they care about as a company because that resume and that application really boils down to, this is the value that I bring to you. This is what I have that I can bring to the company and offer to the company to make the company better, to 
make the team better, to fill a gap that you have on the team. That's the primary way that you're going to stand out to them. Thanks for checking that out. I hope that you found it helpful. I always appreciate feedback, so please let me know what you think. I appreciate any subscriptions, so please tell your friends and colleagues about it as well. Check out the website techinterview.guide for more information about when I'm live streaming and all of my free content. Drop by a live stream anytime to ask questions or message me privately, whatever makes you most comfortable. See you next time.